Greetings, friends! And welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Yeah! We just traded a bunch of stamina vessels for extra hearts. Yeah, so and now our stamina is pathetic, but we can go get another heart container, and then we can finally get the Master Sword. Yeah, and then after we do that, we can start jumping on some divine beasts, and we can basically do all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I mean, we could have done the divine beasts and stuff before, but I like having the Master Sword, just because, like, it's not gonna break, and it's, like, a reliable weapon against the boss. Yeah. Yeah. That's like one of the main reasons is like I don't want to have you know all my other weapons break and then just be st sitting there like well what do I do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> At least with the master sword you have one that can recharge over time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, making our way through this game. always raining when it says it's gonna be sunny <laughs> lies <laughs> heart container please <laughs> that statue looked like she about ready to eat some lobster <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen hearts. Yeah, now we might sell some stuff because we found um, another fairy fountain, and I think it's gonna be like a thousand rupees, and I think we're at like six hundred something. Yeah. Yeah, because um, it it costs like twenty rupees to exchange your containers at mm -hmm. that one statue. It's like she'll buy your containers for a hundred and then sell them back for one twenty as either or. Hmm. I want to sell. Um, and get rid of all them luminous stones if we haven't already. We already did last time, I think. Yeah, last time we had to sell stuff we did. We can get rid of like the ambers and the opals and stuff though. Yeah. Amber's so common. Yeah, and I would say get rid of at least the opals, mm -hmm. just because uh, we're gonna need something to uh, to buy back our stuff, yeah. our stamina vessels. Cool. <laughs> See you. Oh. Don't need anything else. <laughs> hey, you two want to see something amazing? <laughs> 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 Just don't react. <laughs> the way her eyes were like kind of half closed, she looks so unimpressed. Yeah. She's like, eh, whatever. Just another day. Yeah, it's only the 20th time I've seen that today. Yeah. She's like, that's that jackass with the magic iPad. Mm hmm. Oh, and we can also talk to uh, Hestu since we're here. Yeah. Back in Lagville. Mm -hmm. It's really not that bad if you don't swing the camera left and right, but as soon as you start doing that, it's like, oh no. Mm -hmm. Eight, sure. <laughs> no dancing! <laughs> we have no time for that. Sweet. Um. Or should I try the shield? How much does he need for the shields? Yeah, I think we should do that one first. Sweet. What if when we went to go pull the Master Sword, it was like, you can't pick up any more melee items? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be bullshit. That would be. <laughs> yeah, no, it just adds a slot to your thing, but only the Master Sword can exist in it. Do you have to hold it? Yeah, you hold it.
Link sounds like he's got something stuck in his throat. Mm -hmm. He did it! <laughs> what if I let go of A now and he just shoved it back <laughs> in there? <laughs> The Master Sword. Yes. <laughs> We've you done it. <clears throat> Until then, you shall rest safely here. Can't Although tell if that's like rust or blood or a combination. Mud. Yeah, it looks like it was all chipped up. She looks really muddy too, so I'm guessing they were just like running in the rain and took a tumble. If I they got dragged through the dirt by a lion. What is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The master sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. Yeah, go to therapy. I Swords are talking. There is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I. Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Sweet. <laughs> so how to go from looking like shit to not looking like shit if it's been stuck in the ground this Didn't whole time? Didn't you know if you stick a sword into a rock that a hundred years later it'll come out perfectly fine <laughs> and it repaired? Shit. I wish I had known that, soon known that sooner. Princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. Yeah, I think she continues to fight. Thanks for cleaning it. Deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle, her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt him, but <laughs> she has a smile like the sun. Yeah, it's hard to look at. <laughs> <laughs> the blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. Yeah, we didn't just hear all about that. Yeah, he's basically telling you it runs on batteries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like, it has an energy bar. It, it'll it break, but not really. It'll like just, you know, run out of energy. Yeah. And then you gotta wait a few seconds. If your hearts are full, though, you can shoot like a little blast out of it. Mm -hmm. Now we're going back to that that little prayer statue so we can get our stamina back. Yeah. Because Scrooge is having one stamina bar that sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guys will get to see what you missed in between episodes. When we were doing this the first time. <laughs> So 
so peaceful. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it playing the Hatano Village song? Maybe because we're not close enough just yet. <laughs> Here it comes, yeah. Yeah, I really like this song. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Where's the statue? Oh, there it is. Tamper with my essence, please. <laughs> uh, how many hearts do we have to sell? Three. Okay. Yep, and now we spend an extra 60 rupees to get them back as stamina vessels. A different container. Oh, wait, no. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Thrilling gameplay. <laughs> Sweet. Goodbye. Mm. What are you still doing here? Yeah, for real. Why don't you go to Gargoyle. A different, different village. Yeah, go haunt see someone anyone, else. Yeah, see if anyone else wants your offer. Yep. Freak. Yeah, so do you think we should go for that great fairy next? Sure. Yeah, yeah the one that was by the Tabantha region. Yeah, I think it was this purple pen. I think it is, yeah. Sheikah sensor <laughs> uses his power to detect the location of shrines. <laughs> well, gosh darn, I wish I had known sooner. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's a little chilly. Mm. The fire sword might be enough, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was the horse god again? <laughs> He's, He's like, like a virus that's taking over every freaking great fairy fountain. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you look, <laughs> there's a horse god. <laughs> investigating first. Yeah, it looks like a Korok thing. It does. It looks like... Oh, I think... Yeah, I already got him. He's uh, floating above. <laughs> yeah. Fairy. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. <laughs> I used to be hot, and now I am not. I need money to return to my glory. 
This place was once a beautiful spring. Now it's an ugly winter. <laughs> In order for me to regain my power, I need a thousand rupees. That's better than your sister. She needs ten thousand. Yeah. She's the worst. Greedy. <laughs> Yeah, I need $10,000 to look beautiful. I can't do it on a budget. We probably won't even be able to upgrade anything. Yeah. But it'll be nice to just have this unlocked so that we'll be able to get to the third level with any of our armor when we want to. Mm-hmm. How would you like to live here with me? <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm busy. Mm. Sure. Oh, okay. Cool, we can do two of those. Cool. Um. We just need yellow choo-choo jelly for that stuff, too. Mm -hmm. For level one, yeah. Cool. We still gotta find a crap lizards. ton of high tail yeah. lizards and electric key swings for level two for the climbing gear. Yeah. Which is what I really want. <laughs> hmm. Uh. <laughs> Link's like, no thank you! <laughs> Yeah, if you think that's bad, just wait. Just <laughs> wait! Well, gosh dang it. <laughs> you gonna upgrade the rubber thing real quick, or are you just gonna wait? Uh, I'll just wait. Yeah, we can wait until we get some more of the rubber armor pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably gonna end up getting those two rubber pieces in one video at mm -hmm. some point later on, because I know where both of them are, so. Cool. But, uh, did you want to, like, go here and see how much their armor costs? Sure. And if you want, we can, like, start the Rito, uh, like, the Divine Beast right now. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because, mm -hmm. like, doing the whole side mission and finding the right people to talk to and stuff takes a little bit of time. Yeah. And then we could just do the Divine Beast next episode. Mm-hmm. Thanks for giving us the same hint as last mm -hmm. time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Great. Garbage. <laughs> yeah. Garbage game! <laughs> yeah, so what I was saying in the last video is it, it's weird how the Zors and the Ritos treat you differently. The Ritos uh, believe that you must be a descendant of the, ch of the champion. They're like, there's no way that you've lived for a hundred years. There's no way. And the Zors are like, oh yeah, we know you've been asleep for a hundred years. That happens. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's funny how... I just think it's funny how that works. Sweet. 600. 550. The headpiece is always, like, super expensive. A Why thousand! Like... Yeah, so we need 2,150 rupees. We can sell a bunch of our stuff. Yeah. Hey, baby. Looking to sell. Mm -hmm. Um, you could literally just start picking random things to sell, like any of the expensive rocks. <laughs> I know they're rare, but also yeah. it's like... I don't think you even need rubies or sapphires for, like, any upgrades. I'm not positive. Though. I'm pretty sure you need rubies for, like, the last level of one of the armors, and probably the same for the sapphires. Mm -hmm. Um, but, like, we can't even get that right now, so it's like, just sell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cool, and then we just need like another 260. How much do the Lizalfos things go for? Um, like, how much are, what's to the left of that? The one that we have 20 of? Yeah, you should just sell all those, or Moblin things, yeah, yeah not Lizalfos. Mm -hmm. And then how much do the, oh, well, we only need 13 more. 
So, literally yeah. anything that's like 15. You can sell three of those, yeah. Sweet. Oh. Nope, that's it. Now let us buy your clothes! Mm. The Snow Quill tunic. And the Snow Quill headdress and pants. Oh. We'll probably only need red choo choo jelly to upgrade oh. this, I bet. Mm hmm. At least once, yeah. I don't know about the other levels. Oh. Yeah. Probably like fire keys wings or something oh. dumb. Mm hmm. <laughs> Going on a shopping spree, are we? <laughs> cool. You going back to the ferry? Yeah. Gotcha. No, I'm going to the Divine Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Fly away. Yeah. Ooh, and there's a ton of like luminous stones next to her. Nice. Wish we had seen that sooner. <laughs> yeah, but at least now we can make back all that money. True. Well, probably not all of it, but a lot yes, of it. all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we should still have a hammer. Just one! <laughs> <laughs> Can't decide if he's trying to swing the hammer or if he's climbing. <laughs> that was funny. What's all this stuff? Spicy peppers. Mighty, mighty thistles. thistles. For increasing our strength. Yeah. Shit's cool. Hmm. Yeah, it only does that when your health is full, though. Mm -hmm. Shit's lame! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I detected the fragrance of a boy mm -hmm. nearby. <laughs> yeah. So just nine of those. Aww. Cool. Take Aww. care. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully that dumb thing won't happen. Yeah, so sometimes when you're trying to make the chew jellies like an element or whatever, um, you'll put like five of them down, and then when you go to hit it, it like destroys one of them. Mm -hmm. And then the other like three or four will be the right thing. You end up just wasting chew jellies. <sighs> Think need to be closer. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought like two of them were gonna catch on fire and just destroy the other one. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> what if you just drop them onto the fire? Um, I don't know if that'll work. It might. Oh, <laughs> too late. Sweet. Nice. Upgrade time. Oh, you've heard of that set bonuses, right? She's gonna tell us three times. Every time we enhance one of these. You know about set bonuses? Do you know? I just remembered, there mm. are some items in the world that when they're enhanced twice, they do a thing. Warm Cephalina. Yeah, and cool. then five Got jellies. you. So we just gotta find nine of those mm. warm Cephalinas. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> Have you 
got any other clothes you'd like me to work my magic on? Mm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> oh, you don't have any more clothes. Oh, I will take care. <laughs> Blah. Right, she actually said, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Link. Get it together. He's just having a moment. <laughs> Now we can start the Divine Beast quest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just have to talk to the king or the chief or whoever. The village elder. Yeah. Aquaquat. He's probably near the top. You would assume so, you know, being the leader, the elder, or whatever. Yeah. There he is. Hello! Mm. Hmm, a visitor. Welcome to. Oh. Oh! Mm. That object on your hip, could it be? <gasps> the magical iPad. Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Kennelly, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah Slate dangling from your hip? Mm. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master of Ali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Va Meadow. Mm. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, oh, forgive me. Champion descendant, <laughs> if you would like to listen to this old man's request, you would have my Ooh. eternal gratitude. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Varmeadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. <laughs> Tiba and Hoth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Hoth was injured. Tiba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Tiba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Meadow. <laughs> Hoot hoot. <laughs> Tiba's uh, over by his thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Forgive my intrusion. Looks like you're looking for my husband. But to tell you the truth, I can't do anything except tell you where he is. <laughs> he went to the flight range. I think it's where that other uh, shrine was that I got. Mm hmm. He's over there. Mm. If you take off from Ravali's landing, you'll be able to get there real quick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Memory time! <gasps> but this isn't one of the forgotten memories. Yeah. And why is he remembering it? <laughs> this happens every time. <laughs> Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all Naruto. 
Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness sealing sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one on one. <laughs> but where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness. Yeah, so he's got the biggest ego out of any of the champions. Mm -hmm. That's for <laughs> sure. But I don't really hate the voice acting. I mean, he yeah. was just written that way, you know? Mm hmm. Descendant! <laughs> Are you alright? My apologies if you said too much. Uh, I was just supposed to tell you where Tiba was. Right. right. <laughs> Friggin' jerk. <laughs> yeah, you told me too much. Um. Wait. Yeah, I think it's over here. It is, yeah. Why was she pointing me in that direction? Then? I don't know. <laughs> lying rat. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to send me off down the wrong path. <laughs> Maybe she was just saying that that's like the best jumping point. Yeah. But it looked like she was like pointing over that way too. Yeah. She's just trying to protect her husband. <clears throat> too cold. Mm. Let's see if putting just this on will. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's all he needs. Couple little earpieces. Yep. Um, let me take my bandana off and put my feather headpiece <laughs> on, and yeah. then I will be warm. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one part of the armor I don't understand. Yeah. Because I'm like, how does this make you warmer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still has shorts and short sleeves on. Yep. <laughs> Makes absolutely no sense. He's fine. Yeah, now we gotta go talk to Tiba, and then yeah. we can do his little side questy thing, and then once we board the Divine Beast, we can call it an episode. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and we can cook stuff real quick. Mm. Well, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was like literally I all he said. You. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. I was just gonna cook. <laughs> Yeah, he looks real busy. Yeah, stretching his bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um... Cook whatever you want. <laughs> Damn, plus 13 hearts. Nice. Try just doing all four, and then maybe a radish. Yeah, I just don't want to waste them all, because, like, literally one of those is a full recovery. Mm -hmm. And just adding a bunch of them just adds a bunch of extra hearts. Yeah. But those extra hearts are nice. The mm -hmm. full the full recovery we can get from, like, tossing a couple meats and, like, rice together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, each hearty durian just adds four hearts then. Mm hmm Yeah. You could probably toss it in by itself. Because, like, adding anything else to it will probably just... Yeah, because it'll be a full recovery plus. Yeah. <laughs> plus nine this time instead yeah. of eight? Yeah, That's you weird. soiled it with apples last time. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> 
<laughs> it might lower it <laughs> if you put anything else in. <laughs> Sweet. Did you need some? I'm busy. Help me with what? Mm -hmm. Bob Meadow. Oh, let me get this straight. Some random Hylia wants to help me bring down the Divine Beast. I'm not buying it. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Tiba, but you already knew that because I'm famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Just like the Elder. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. As a Rita warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. You're resting There's only right one. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're sitting, sitting on your, your ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Once the Divine Beast is done, if I have to kill Meadow, so be it. <laughs> only then will I return to the video. Let's get started. <laughs> are you serious? Ha, well, far be it for me to talk you off the ledge. Well, as the elder said, there's only one way to stop it, by getting inside. Fat chance of that happening. So not only are you wingless, you're stupid. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> He's got cannons. We gotta destroy the cannons. He's gonna teach us how to use updrafts to fly and shoot stuff. Yeah, yeah and he gives us a bunch of bomb arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I thought someone was pulling a prank on me when you first showed up and blah 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 <laughs> looks like you've seen a battle or two huh if you really want to bring down Meadow it's now or never <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, he said inside of a chest or something there was a special bow, or he might be talking about this There, one. There was a chest literally right next to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can like, barely see out here. It's all good. <laughs> Inventory full. Is that falcon bow? Pretty sure we already have one. We do. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should drop the uh, falcon bow. Yeah. Take the special one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah, I think he said it has like a higher rate of fire. Huh. Time to face Divide Beast. Vimetto. Yeah, give us the bomb arrows. <laughs> he said they're a commodity and then gives us 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, all I need are my little earmuffs. <laughs> um, I just can't watch. <laughs> it's like... I'd say to, oh, nah. <laughs> I was going to say to save Rito Village, but that's the name of the princess who's been dead for a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, I always tell them it's to save their own village to make them feel special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to help you guys, of course. <laughs> it's not for one girl trapped in the castle. Link's like, I'll do anything to get this girl's voice out of my head. <laughs> Yeah, out of my head and into my ears. Right. I want her speaking directly to me. We might have to put on some warmer clothes. I don't know if it'll be enough. <laughs> Guess we'll see in a second. Force field. He's really not too bad. Yeah. You just have to bust up these cannons. And then when you're inside, he's... One of the easier ones. Mm -hmm. This and the elephant are like easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, just aim for the cannons. I'm telling you five times to make sure that you know for sure. Back to the flight range. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't want to do the divine beast right now. That's why. Oh yeah, and he like targets the bird, so you gotta like go after the cannons while they're busy targeting him. They're like just on each of the corners. Mm -hmm. it's targeting us. It's targeting me. Do your job <laughs> now. <laughs> targeting us. Be careful. I am. <laughs> uh, going on <laughs> we're fighting the divine beast that's, that's what's, what's going, going on, on idiot genius what's going on <laughs> i think it's weird how when you're like up above the divine beast so you're your stamina is going down while you're gliding like this, but if you let go and then whip the glider out, his stamina completely refills. Yeah. I don't get it. Probably because <laughs> it would be impossible if it didn't. Yeah, that's probably why. Dang, I almost went right into that one. <laughs> Can't believe none of the Ritos could have done that. Mm -hmm. Too hard, right? <laughs> well done, Link. That thing is history. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much all do this where they're like, "Awesome, yeah. I've helped you board, but uh, uh, I can't, sudden, I can't like, help you anymore." Oh, yeah. and then uh, they just leave. Yeah. Look at his leg; it's all burned up. Yeah, it's like he didn't get hit a single time. He didn't. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, what if he? Did I'm that about to be himself? roast chicken. <laughs> what if he did that to himself? <laughs> you head down the middle. Good luck. It's all you. Mm, thanks. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Remote bombs. <laughs> <laughs> that thing you got in the first episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yep, and then we touch it with the magical iPad. Travel gate registered to map. Yeah, so if you want, you can, like, leave the Divine Beast and go, you know, well, get supplies, I've go do stuff. Before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You never Your taught me how to fly. control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? 
If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was the outside battle, and next time we're gonna do the inside part. These are basically like the dungeons of this game, or like the temples, whatever. Yeah. Like the big main temples. They're decently designed. They just start to feel kind of samey after a while, because it's like all the same stuff inside. It's like five, like little terminals you have to activate and then you fight the boss and they all look kind of the same and it's always like this same kind of aesthetic with just a bunch of Ganna goop inside. Yeah. yeah, but they're not like terrible or anything. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.